Hey guys, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue. I'm Larry in. Hey Larry. <laughs> Okay, one more time. Composure. Zip, 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 zip. Hey, it's Harry from Sapper Daddy Barbecue. I'm all the way from Los Angeles here in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska, in the backyard of my buddy, Larry Snipes. He's my former student, and uh, we're gonna be grilling up a storm. We're doing a surf, a turf, and a bird for you, together with some winter grilling tips. It's starting now to snow. I'm gonna pan upwards, and it's about maybe 10, 15 degrees, so it's really, really cold, so we'll try to get this cooked down in record time. I'm Larry Snipes, and we're here in my backyard in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska, on New Year's Day, 2018. Happy New Year to everybody. Harry has to teach you today is very <laughs> educational and enjoy it. All right, super. Thanks, Larry. Part of the main thing I learned in Harry's class, number one is sanitation. The very first thing you have to do is make sure your utensils and your food are all stored at the proper temperatures. Cooking is love. And if you love what you're doing, People who are going to eat it are going to love it. They're going to actually going to taste the love that you put into it. I have these uh, beautiful tomahawk steaks uh, from St. River Farm. Uh, thanks uh, to Anella Kelso from St. River. These are beautiful uh, Wagyu tomahawks. And we're going to basically do a smoke followed by a sear. I have a hot grill here, about 300 degrees. I'm going to place the tomahawks just like that. And uh, we're going to let them smoke for about 30, 45 minutes. Then we'll get them into the right temperature zone. The temperature now is about uh, 35 degrees. We're gonna get it all warmed up to 110 degrees. And then we're gonna sear them using some grill grates. And these are the grates that will allow us to get some beautiful pineapple grill marks on the steak. I have the tandoori turkey, which is the Indian style turkey for the bird portion of the shoot. And uh, it's basically turkey that has uh, some curry powder, my chicken rub, and some sour cream on it. Look at the pit. Uh, it has coals on the left and right side. The, the middle portion here is kind of cool. So I'm going to put the bird right here. And I'm going to smoke it for about an hour, an hour and a half get to about 165 degrees. We have some cauliflower here that uh, we are going to smoke in the pit, but I'll show you a little trick here. You can microwave the cauliflower for about seven minutes to kind of tenderize it, smother it with some uh, mayonnaise, and then get some of my Slapper Daddy rub on it. We'll put it on a grill to get some smoke and some char. And it's gonna be wonderful as a side dish. It's also great if you have vegetarian friends who may not care for the meat. All right, let's see the temperature. It's 103 degrees. 110 degrees coming up along nicely. Steaks should be about 110 ish. So, well, 97 now. 101. All right, getting there. On this grill over here, we have. <laughs> the handle falls off, so we gotta go to plan B now. There we go. Oh, voila! Here's my. Bacon, pineapple, mozzarella ring. We're gonna put it in the pit and we're gonna create some wonderful appetizers. I'm gonna put it in the pit that's a little bit hotter. And here's a uh, onion bacon ring for those who don't like pineapple. Checking temperature. It's 136. We're gonna try to get it around 165. 27, it's coming along nicely. Lobsters are almost ready to be put in, so we're going to season them with some of my chicken rub. This is a great on seafood. We're going to let the rub sit for just a few minutes. Let the uh, flavor soak in. Load the lobsters here. Just a little bit of rub on it. About uh, maybe seven to eight minutes on each side, depending on how hot your pit is. So that looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, the smell is wonderful. And uh, while we're cooking the meat, I want to 
give you guys a kind of overview of some of the winter grilling tips obviously the first thing that's most important is your gear you want to make sure you safety check your equipment if you got something like a gas grill want to make sure there's no leakage the hoses are all intact uh, don't cook in your garage okay too many people in america every year have problems cooking in a garage you're not supposed to do that because you can get carbon monoxide poisoning uh, we're using lump ch charcoal here we use lump charcoal because it works a lot better in winter grilling it's about maybe uh, 15 degrees right now but the winter grilling lump charcoal gives you a lot better heat output than using briquettes so in the winter time use lump charcoal Always make sure you have enough time to get your hot coals ready. We used a uh, little charcoal chimney to start hot coals. And always check your fire because everything just takes a lot longer. Uh, remember to always dress uh, warm and be safe. The tips for cooking is you always want to grill in the winter and then you want to barbecue in the summertime. So, so steaks and chops uh, for winter versus roast and brisket items, right? So if you want to cook low and slow, Here's a tip, you can actually char it on the grill and then finish in the oven. Be patient as a lot of time is needed and like I said, you got to cook with the lid closed because if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Now today, out in the backyard here, uh, it's cold uh, and snowy but it's not uh, very windy. So if it's really, really windy, you got to make sure that you cover the area or shield uh, your grill from the winds. We're going to show you guys how we get the uh, pineapple char marks on the steak. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put it in the uh, two o'clock position like so. On the two o'clock position on this side. All right, it's been about 60 seconds. Uh, we're going to flip it back in the same position like so. We'll get nice, nice char marks on it like that. Same on this side here. Beautiful char marks. All right, we're ready to flip it into the other position. We pick it up. And go this side, flip it over, X flip. And we pick it up, we do X flip again. So for the steaks, we did an X flip. So we do about a minute, a minute and a half on each side. We put it in a two o'clock position first and then we flip it over at the two o'clock position. Then we will pick the steak up and flip it across to the 10 o'clock position called an X flip. And then after another minute, minute and a half, we'll flip it back over. And if everything goes well, we should have a perfect pineapple grill marks on the steak. All right, lobsters are cooked and I'm gonna drizzle it with some Bernays sauce that I'm gonna make in 30 seconds. So I have uh, three egg yolks here and uh, I'm gonna put some tarragon in it. And of course the tarragon is frozen with some tarragon in here. Put some black pepper, a little nice pinch of uh, truffle salt, lemon juice in there. I got my butter here, super hot, and I'm, I'm going to have uh, get help from Larry and uh, or Bill. Bill, Bill can do this. Do me a favor, just lift the sauce and then drizzle it uh, onto the uh, in, into the cup here. All right, I'm adjusting final seasonings. Needs a little bit, a touch of black pepper, mix it up a little bit. I'm going to brush it now on the lobsters. And get some on the uh, cauliflower also, right here. Okay, lobsters are ready. I, I put some Bernays sauce on it. And uh, the top secret is uh, we can use some uh, Korean style sriracha. This is uh, K-pop sauce made by my buddies, uh, Theo and Mike. Wonderful. Looking really, really good. Do a final dusting of some rub. Final seasoning is the Sabidei rub. completed and uh, we got a lot of food cooked today and of course uh, it begins to snow right after we end up shooting uh, Larry's helping me get the car ready back to sunny California I want to again thank Larry he's a great guy and uh, for uh, helping get this uh, shoot done for me so Larry appreciate your help 
All right, thanks to all fun. the sponsors. Also, Snake River Farm, the K-pop people, and Thermal Works, uh, and also to Dave Raymond who gave me a lot of the tips. He's from Sweet Baby Rays, and uh, he was kind enough to give us some of the tips that we use today. So, until next time, uh, happy trails and stay warm. Got it.